A systematic review on yoga and positive psychology done by Chirag Dagar in his unpublished uh, PhD thesis awarded recently by School of Management in IIT Bombay gives the three major fields where yoga and positive psychology coincide and these are related to specific emotional domains. So, physiological and biological domain psychological domain and neurological domain. And through all these processes, yoga helps in not only gaining emotional balance, but also experiencing emotional joy, emotional ecstasy and remaining in that aesthetic state for long time. So, physiological or biological mechanism which helps uh, in experiencing positive psychological outcomes. Uh, through yoga are related to uh, relaxation, enhanced uh, parasympathetic nervous systems activity, focus on breath, interoceptive and bodily awareness. Neurological mechanisms are related to polyvagal theory. So, yoga functions as the neural practice and the activation of the inner neuron system and that helps in attaining the uh, positive psychological outcomes and there are the host of psychological mechanism. Science of unitary human being talks about it, element of the theory of self efficacy talks about that, increase in the positive effect, affective coping, detachment, mindfulness, self compassion, mind body awareness, self regulation, sense of control, uh, spirituality, sustained attention, reduced distraction, self awareness. Uh, self engagement all these are the psychological mechanism through which yoga and positive psychology are connected and we experience the emotional balance and we gain the emotional control. In this uh, session we are going to look at uh, three major constructs. One construct is drawn from the uh, yoga sutra and two constructs are drawn from the uh, positive psychology. The positive psychological construct drawn from the yoga sutra is called Brahma Vihar. Brahma Vihar is combination of the four variables Maitri that is friendliness, Karuna that is compassion, Mudita that is joy seeing the excellence shown by others and Upeksha means ignoring what is unpleasant or ignoring the others faults. These are the four mind states together make Brahma Vihar. Uh, psychological capital is the modern term and uh, it is also found to be an excellent composite which can explain many job related outcomes, academic success related outcomes, uh, personal well being related outcomes. Uh, so, these are hope, efficacy, resilience and optimism. These four variables constitute psychological capital. Uh, that is found to be very relevant at the uh, workplace. Another term which is uh, by many authors is considered to be the gold standard of well being is called PARMA. PARMA is again combination of five uh, factors. These are positive emotions, engagement, positive uh, relationships, meaning and sense of accomplishment in life. Parama is more relevant in the day to day life, uh, psychological capital is more relevant in the workplace context that is why we can look at both of these terms. The review done by Chirag Dagar in his unpublished thesis looks at all these variables and beautifully summarizes how various yogic practices result into all of these outcome. We cannot only discuss the positive emotions, we need to look at uh, negative emotions as well because for gaining emotional balance as much it is, it is important to enhance positive emotions. So, much is the importance of managing 
negative emotions or the emotions which result into unpleasant experience or diminishing of our energy. So, we need to look at negative emotions as well. If we follow a hexaco model of personality, which is the modification of big five personality type, it gives uh, it has sixth element or sixth type which is called emotionality. Emotionality is related to emotional distress and this is the combination of fearfulness, dependence, anxiety and sentimentality. That is the reflection of the negative emotions or those emotions which result into unpleasantness or which diminish our energy. Yogic tradition also uh, classifies negative emotions in the in its own way. Uh, we have discussed about these uh, aklisht vrittis which are asmita, rag, avidya, uh, dvesh, abhinivesh and we discussed that avidya is the cause of all uh, four uh, klisht vrittis, asmita is uh, too much egoism too much attachment to the self identity, rag is the undue attachment, dvesh is undue aversion, abhinivesh is tendency or perpetuate yourself in the form of body or in the form of fame and name. All these five result into shadaripus or six enemies. Six enemies are kam, krodh, lobh, moh, mad, matsar. Calm are the desires or sense pleasure, overly indulgence in the sense pleasure is calm. Krodh is unregulated anger, uh, moh is adharmic attachment, attachment to things which do not result into harmony within self and harmony in the environment that is moh. Uh, lobh is uh, opposite of a parigraha that is greed, our tendency to hold lot of things, to possess lot of things much more than what we actually require. Uh, mud is too much of pride in our uh, qualities and because of that developing a tendency of laziness that is matsar. So, all these six ripus or enemies are result of these uh, five klisht vrittis. These are the expressions of negative emotions that is what we can say. These eventually become not only emotion, but result into our behavior as well and that is why these can be called uh, attributes.